We made an acquisition of a company called Iron Grid Technologies based in Boston. And it's a small group of guys that have been working with the cable operator and broadcast industry for quite some time. So they've got great experience. They've got a lot of deep relationships. And fundamentally, what they have been working on the last uh, several years is a platform that helps uh, cable operators cleanse and process set-top box data. Right? There's a lot of really rich information within set-top boxes that can be utilized to help uh, cable operators understand viewer analytics, to help them with programming, to help them with promotions to subscribers. But it also has a lot of interesting advertising use cases as well for addressability and targeting on uh, digital-based advertising for linear. And all of those elements require that that data be processed. Otherwise, what just comes out in terms of a raw return path uh, is, is a lot to deal with. It's, it can be quite messy. Cable operators have multiple versions of set-top boxes out in the market, which have different uh, versions of software. So when you think about trying to take uh, just one particular operator's data set and make it really useful in a short period of time, that's exactly what uh, Iron Grid's been helping clients do. So an Inkscape, where does that fit in? Yeah, so we partnered with Inkscape as we wanted connected TV data sets as well within the VideoAmp data platform. So our goal is to take and, and get the, be the best and most scaled TV viewership data set in the market and make it fundamentally useful for advertisers, for TV programmers, and of course for the cable operators. And the Inkscape data is the most scaled and widely available smart TV, connected TV data set in the market, and we've been spending months with it in terms of uh, how to take that particular data set and create specific data products around the use cases that our clients are asking us for. There's a lot of different value props that different parts of the ecosystem are chasing, right? I think if you look holistically speaking, the traditional television industry is trying to work much more closely together versus separate. And so together means programmers are working together in groups like OpenAP, the cable operators are working together in groups like NCC, right? So you've got a lot of this instead of, I'm in my own swim lane by myself, I'm actually trying to figure out how to work with my peers so that TV can act much more as a large platform that is more holistic and unified. In order for that to happen, you need to have data interoperability. So uh, cable operator A, B, and C, if you're gonna make all of that data work so you can create a national footprint, for example, you need the ability to do data processing. So that, I think, is a key value prop. The historical TV programmer not having much access to cable operator data is changing pretty rapidly, right? Obviously, with with uh, a company like Comcast who already owns NBCU and now that AT&T is gonna own Time Warner, you have content and distribution being vertically integrated. So how do you make all those data assets within a large telecom or cable operator useful for TV programmers? And then you know we can't forget about advertisers and agencies, right? They all have now people-based marketing platforms that need to be able to get activated for television use cases and for cross-screen use cases. So how do you take a people-based marketing platform within an agency and match it to TV viewership data so that that data within, a, within one of those platforms at the agency can actually be used to plan and execute television and cross screen. So I think with this acquisition of Iron Grid and our existing capabilities, we're gonna be in a really strong position to enable that for all those constituencies. So Jay, how does this uh, move the position or the capability of VideoAmp and how does it sort of auger for perhaps uh, the roadmap ahead. Yeah, I think when we last spoke uh, at an event uh, a couple of months ago, we started to talk about um, our positioning and sort of where we fit in, in, the, in the ecosystem now. And I think uh, you'll see that this particular announcement and this acquisition has allowed us to formally create and announce a data division and an emerging products division. And so that particular group within the company uh, we're going to run out of Boston, which is where Iron Grid was, and one of our uh, guys, Nick Chocolos, who's been running BizDev for the last two years for VideoAmp, is going to take on the leadership role of the data division. But that's going to allow us to create 
cross-screen segments that can be used within the video amp platforms, but we're also gonna be making it widely available to other parts of the ecosystem. So other DSPs, other SSPs, other programmatic platforms, as we really wanna make our data products a, a sort of glue that can help um, interoperability between companies, but also can truly enable linear and digital unification. So our, our strategy is to really build and, and get this data division off the ground here now in very short order. And then that's gonna be combined with our workflow part of the of video app, which is our software. So that includes our planning software, that includes our historical DSP buying software, and some new applications that we're developing, which are really focused on self-serve use uh, by buyers and sellers to take advantage of all this great advanced TV data sets that are available via us and others and have it so that you can automate the creation of a data-driven linear plan or a data-driven cross-screen plan. And then the last component is our measurement platform. So we are building a measurement tool right now that would allow for actual audience-based, unique reach calculations between uh, traditional TV and digital video. So if you look at it holistically, we're really kind of focused now on three core areas, workflow, which is software, measurement, which is not just gonna be reports, but actual software platform for measurement, and then the data and emerging products division, which will be segments and a self-service UI to actually create custom segments.